house. <laughs> is the summer home? Or yeah. Is it? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have you see when we're all done. I'm gonna have you put a new disposable mask on because we're doing stuff on both ears. Okay. We're doing some hoops, so we're not gonna do band aids over it. But lately, we've been doing band aids over a fresh piercing. So in the meantime, at least for the next couple of days, do a new disposable mask um, for the next few days in between doing your cleaning. Okay. So you're not gonna contaminate this fabulous one that you have on right now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I haven't seen you in a minute. Okay, you have to flash them your awesome tattoo. Oh, that's, okay, he has the most hilarious tattoo ever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right? The so naked excited. banana he's throwing off his peel. Yes. He's so excited yeah. too. He's like, Woo! And he has a little sensor because I'm the sensor yes. one. Yeah. Yeah, you told me that a, a friend of yours got, a female friend of yours got yes. like a huge one. Yeah, it's of on the her same thing. Yeah. It's like big. Yeah. Because she's the one that whenever we traveled, like, she'd always get naked. And so she loved the minions, like, banana. like. And then I found this little guy. And yeah, so Dude. I'm the sensor because I'm like, it's not that I don't like to be naked, but it's just it's like I'm more of a private person. Like, okay, so wait, so yeah. is, hers, is hers not censored? No, no, it's the same one. But... Okay, because the censor is what makes it like yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So great. All right, so we're doing conch on both sides, and then we're doing a, like an extra one on the cartilage, like on the outside of the ear, because ultimately you want to connect a nice tight hoop. Yes. Both holes, yeah, so that's there's a little space. Yeah. Right. So, and he tried to get me to do it straight out the gate, and I was Dana, like, yeah. No, I'm gonna have to like like excavate it out of your uh -huh. ear tomorrow. So. Then always listen to the professional. Yeah. You know, I've had a few things in my life, right. so I can tell you. But yeah, I know what the goal is. But yeah, we're gonna do two separate things, and then get it healed, and then go ahead and connect it because it's such a tight space in a thick part of the ear. So this one you have before, is that correct? correct? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you guys did. Let me get you cleaned off. So we're gonna do a ring in this one, and then we've got a bar with a gem that we're gonna do on that one, and then there's a little hoop that we're doing for the little outside piercing. Yes. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna have you go ahead and take this mask off so that I can yep. clean you thoroughly. I didn't recognize him because his hair was different too. <laughs> yeah. I I can't tell who anybody is anymore. <laughs> All right, it's gonna take about 20 seconds. You know, they should create like a mask that has your face on it. <laughs> it just has like your ID photo uh -huh. on the front of it. Like this is really neat. And it like blurs out like what, like you don't need your address. So you <laughs> yes, can't it. Yeah. yes. So we need to make that mask. Because it is weird. Like I get people in here and then I'll have them, you know, doing like a facial piercing and they'll take their mask off and I'm almost like surprised that, oh, that's what you Do you have like. a face? Yeah. <laughs> that's what have you seen the, like. the duck mask? that like it like it's extended out and it talks like when you move your mouth but it's actually like a mask on the inside i'm totally no. gonna get that yeah. oh my god that sounds over the top ridiculous the, over the top <laughs> never yeah, yeah. like I'm with a pink spike mask too, right? yeah <laughs> and a naked banana tattoo <laughs> best tattoo ever <laughs> it's so great so any more tattoos on you oh yeah i have 19 and working on my sleep Oh, okay, cool. What's what's the subject matter of your sleep? Uh, very spiritual. So, like a Buddha, Hamza hand. I okay. currently have that. Um, the Hamza hand. Nice. Um, uh, lotus flower. I'm also going to get a leaf that my psychologist gave me back when I was like 18, 19. Okay. Um, from a bonsai tree. That so, it's an bed. actual, like, dried, like, little. I piece? have it in a frame, yeah. That's awesome. So. I like that. Okay, I believe I see where this was. Now, do you want the conch on this side to match this guy? Oh, whatever's gonna, no, I think it's gonna be a little More, bit different. So you're okay curtains. with it being different just for the thing, the project basically we're gonna be doing over here? Yeah, exactly. So you want it probably a tiny bit lower than yeah, where that one is. Because there's a little, okay. yeah, you know. Yeah, you want it to go right around this little tiny little cut out crevice right here. Worry. Okay, so we're gonna do the conch there. And then we're gonna do, I would do here. And obviously you're just gonna have to trust me on the- Yeah, I do. On where this guy's gonna come out. And then we'll, once it's healed and it's all back to normal size, then we'll fit a nice little snow piece in there. So yeah, the conch is not going to be hugely different, just like a little bit, tiny bit down lower. 
yeah. Okay. I'm not like a big symmetrical person. I like the Okay, different. me neither. Yeah. Go ahead and lay down all the way. Then you go ahead and change gloves. So you've been doing good during this whole fucking year that we've had all this shit, right? Uh, yeah, I think I had like actually later on during the pandemic, I had more of anxiety and like depression later on. Okay, right. Not really in the beginning. I've realized though that I am like a, an outgoing introvert. <laughs> okay. So I've actually been, I totally get that. Yeah. been embracing more of like my art side. So I've done some art projects and That's cool. took up piano again. Just, you know, I played for like 13 years. So just really been trying to like reconfigure because losing soccer for me, that was, that was my outfit. Right, because that's you know? what, now you said you coach soccer, right? I did, yeah. So. Well, and yeah, so hi, no gatherings of sports teams or none of that happening, right? Right, and yeah. And not yet still, I don't think, right? Not for adults yet, but I, it, there are things in the work like beach soccer possibly in like April. So I've been training on my own, finally. You know, I did gigging and some cool. COVID pounds for sure. Oh, everybody did. Yeah. Like, and I had no excuse. I was just lazy. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to hit you with this number, okay? It's going to be really cold. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes for me very low. Um, dude, you're told you have to basically sit on your couch for like months and that the, the gym is closed, all that. So, I mean, it was very easy to just snack on stuff in the house, you know? And wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't go there. It would have been very detrimental if yeah, that wasn't been the case. I would have been your little banana, <laughs> such as in my living room. <laughs> so, at some point, you might go back to coaching, hopefully soon. Yeah, hopefully. At least, if not coaching, at least playing. You know, right. Yeah. Well, it's like I got an email from like a what is that, like a concert venue that normally mm -hmm. sends me whatever concert? I was like surprised, like shit. Yeah. Is that, that going to be happening to you? That I think I would be a little bit leery. Like I, I was, you know, I am able to actually get my second COVID shot next Friday. Very cool. So because I was coaching, you know, they were, I was. You were able to get that? Yeah. Um, so very, very, very thankful for that, you know, because. But unfortunately, I hate to say, like, people have just, the government is not regulated, you know, that's a whole other right. can of <laughs> amazingness. <laughs> and there's no perfect anything at this point, Absolutely, you know? yeah. But I've also been able to be close with my mom and help take care of her and take, because she's 71. And you had that way for me. So she got her shot and stuff, too? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, hold still. So that's cool. Yeah, and just be able to, like, do for her, you know, uh, you know, grocery shopping, just things that right. she doesn't have to worry about. That is the weird thing. I've only physically seen my dad once this whole year. Yeah. And that is kind of bizarre. And I, honestly, he was like, um, I just want to sit in your car and eat KFC. So that's what we did. <laughs> that's <was> cute. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I can, I can make that happen. Absolutely. But yeah, so I would like to see him again. It is weird. Everybody's been so isolated from each other. And it's In the tough. beginning, I did um, dress up as a blow up unicorn that was like seven foot. And I went to Costco and I held a sign throughout this pandemic um, take a moment to like smile. You did that? I did. I yeah. love that. That's freaking fabulous. It, the, what you're making me think of is there was this. Like when we first had to wear face coverings mm -hmm. and go shopping, right? There was supposedly, there was like some meme and it was this lady was going grocery shopping and she was wearing a um, an astronaut Halloween costume. Yeah, mine was a <laughs> unicorn that had a plastic <laughs> mask, yeah. That to me is hilarious because it's like, dude, like you gotta have some good humor in this shit, you know? Yeah. It's been tough and at least if you can make somebody laugh a little bit, that's awesome, you know? Right. Cause that's what we need. We need a little humor. So I think can... like laughter is like the food to the soul. Oh, like... totally. Well, I'd much rather have a guy make me laugh than be like super stoked and hot. Yeah. I know. Try dating right now. Oh no. Well, it's like how is that even gonna happen? Really, you know what I'm saying? Right. 
you're like, I'm sorry, could you get COVID tested for three days in a row? Like when you go <laughs> traveling, you know, before we go to the Starbucks and yeah. grab some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's true though, it's gotta be tough. I would just like put it out of my mind. Well, like, I think everybody's like kind of like working on themselves at this point, which is probably the best freaking thing to do, you know? I yeah. think if we get too caught up in everybody else, that we forget about what we need and obviously everybody needs to kind of hone in on themselves right now for what's happening right it's like what dory said just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> oh we need to get back to disneyland that's what i need me and my husband have passed